Labor stability, which is one of our strategic pillars of the company, continues to play a key role in our relationship with our unions and employees. We have been National Union of Mine Workers dominate that company. This time last year, National Union of Mine Workers stood at 72% majority. As we speak in now, we are around about 81-82% National Union of Mine Workers, which gives that continuous stability in the company, very much involved in the strategy and the execution of the business plan. In June, we signed a close shop agreement with National Union of Mine Workers, which therefore gives us even a further entrenched stability in the company. Because of the <coughs> adjustments that we, the labor increase we gave to our enrolled labor, uh, our co contractor workers uh, lagged behind and therefore the gap was increasing between our permanent you know, enrolled labor and our contractor workers. And therefore we had to do an adjustment to our contractor workers because they're doing the same job as our, as, as our enrolled labor. Um, so we did an adjustment. We brought forward, remember that the, 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 the increases come on, on the 1st of July, but then we brought it forward in order to get some stability because that's our number one priority, as I've just said. So we brought it forward, but we loaded it also in order to bridge that gap itself because you don't want people working in the same area one panel next to the other and in different salaries. But secondly, they, they had um, medical aid, but not as, as good as our medical aid itself, Platinum Health. And as a result, there were problems, especially on the health side, that challenged also the stability and productivity. People getting sick, not going to the pharmacy to go and get medi I mean, medicine, whereas we have got a clinic with medicine right, right in the, in the premises of BRPM. So we agreed that we're going to improve, number one, the medical aid contribution of contractor workers, but we're going to re-enroll them into Platinum Health. That came, again, at, at the cost itself. So that increased that, uh, that, uh, that the overall wage of, 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 of contractor workers. Uh, and that's, that's where you see the number coming in. But going for, and, and remember that the, the contractor workers for is JIC mainly and Platcrow, the second one itself. So we virtually removed the JIC people from JIC bargaining unit at national level and reinforced them to BRPM so that we are able to flexibly adjust our salaries. Otherwise then we would be paying them the same salary as a JIC employee in Bloemfontein or Welcome will be earning and, and which is, was not competitive with the wages in the platinum industry, for example, at BRPM and Impala and Lonmin. So we had to brought, bring them a little bit on par. And Steve, I see your own labor costs also went up by 13.7%. It's not just the contractors. Labor and contractors still form about 62% of overall costs and this continued to inflate by 14% per year. And despite the fact that you do have your production picking up, your costs remain surprisingly high. So the first two years of the agreements are higher, and they they come down as we as we progress forward in the five years. So I think you, we, we'll see benefits from from this year onwards in that percentage increase that we'll be paying to both enrolled and contract employees. My philosophy is that there's a premium to labour stability. Uh, Gone are the days where you'll negotiate like uh, what number you want and you get a discount. You've got to pay a premium for labor stability. This is a third year where they, are, they will be front end loaded and from there they will be tapering, tapering down. But that has given us this stability. 14% I mean, annual increase is unsustainable. You can't give these kind of increases at the end of the day to try and just get stability. I mean, the margins will close up at some stage. No, I agree. No, I agree. But... Remember that we did this wage negotiation in 2014. So, so it's not like we did it last year. And 2014 was not a, a very pleasant year to operate in. Steel raft remains on course. BRPM remains on course. There is room for improvement, particularly at BRPM. And we believe that the second half of the year should come out better, but provided we maintain 
our safety strategy, our turnaround strategy and remain focused on, on safety in order to avoid disruptions.